Wow. Okay, so we have pretty, pretty good cards here. All right, so at the heart of this reading is the Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Wands indicates an acceleration, a lot of communication coming through, a lot of vital information that you need in order to gather yourself and in order to direct your life in the trajectory, in the direction that you want to achieve success. So this is actually a very, very good card, and I do feel as a water sign, you are very deliberate when it comes to your actions, and you you might react in an emotional way. So this is a, a case where, you know, that, that water energy is being tempered with the fire energy that allows you to make decisions with your head and your heart rather than just um, succumbing to, you know, making a decision based on an emotional response, okay? So this is good energy. It indicates to me a lot of stability. What's in your environment that you're not aware of here? We do have the Empress, and this is basically being grounded, being in control of your emotions, and being in control of the situation. The Empress is somebody that expands and controls her territory. She has total control over her domain. She is very, very, very grounded. So it seems to me that a lot of you, you might have been in a situation where you didn't know how to progress, you don't know how to move ahead. You don't know who to who to incorporate into your life. And this is the month in which all of that starts to subside and you found you found your footing. Okay, or at least you are going to be able to found, find your footing. In terms of what's crossing you here, we have the Page of Swords. This is a very young energy and this might be a new person or somebody you've been dealing with for, with for quite some time who is emotionally immature. So the pages are, you know, they're, they're childlike. They don't really understand long-term or deep-rooted ramifications of how their actions affect other people. This is somebody who might have commitment issues. They might also, like, not know how to be in a good, stable relationship. Or whenever they get into a relationship, they start getting cold feet, okay? They don't have bad intentions, but I do feel it's been difficult for you to deal with this person now and might have been in the past as well. So I do feel you want to be a little bit careful this month if there is an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, coming back in from your past because what's in the past position is the Seven of Swords in the reverse position. This is the Sneaky Man card. This is somebody doing something they're not supposed to do. So you might have been grappling with somebody that is like constantly um, in and out of your life that might have been um, evasive when you ask them, you know, point blank questions. If you've been trying to extract answers from them, they've been pretty, um, I guess, devious about lying by omission. So you want to be really careful about this energy coming back through for this month. You've gotten, you know, you, you made good strides. You traveled away from that problem to a new path for yourself and they're coming back in to haunt you so you want to be really careful in terms of what's um crowning you here we have the ace of wands in the reverse position so there is definitely new work situations new projects coming through for you okay for some reason i am sensing that this might be a project that you're not 100 percent thrilled about undertaking I do feel that you should do it because it's going to pay off financially. We have the Eight of Coins coming in as well as the Ten of Coins. This is a project that somehow you're not completely 100% comfortable with. But it's going to prove that it's very lucrative. So you're still debating now whether or not you want to do this. For a lot of you, it might be, for example, okay, it might be a situation where you're working under the table. You're working... Um, and you're not documenting it, so you're kind of hesitant whether or not you want to do this. For a lot of you, it might come in as a project proposal from this air sign, and they're promise you, promising you wealth and riches, and you are going to get the wealth and riches because money is coming through as a result of this project. So you should go ahead with it, okay? Just know that you are well protected here. We have the Empress and we also have um, 
the ten of coins so i definitely see a financial you know gain coming as a result of it so you're going to be fine and you are also level-headed enough to know what's going to work so a lot of you are expanding your expertise possibly dabbling in things that are tangentially related to your main thing so for example if you are you know if you if you work in the IT industry with a company um, someone could come in and offer you a contract a consultancy job where you can continue to keep your day job but you're working as a consultant on the side so you're doing something extra related to your main field of work and you're going to make a lot of money from it so it looks very lucrative at first it seems a little bit seedy so you know ask questions try to flush out whether or not this is something you want to pursue it looks very fruitful and I do find it, feel that financially it is going to pay off it might require some travel because I do feel with the hangman and the four of wands in the outcome position you might be away from home for quite some time if this is a project it might be like a seasonal project where you're off for like you're 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 somewhere else working for like a few months and then you might not be um, able to take care of things on the home front but you're going to be quite happy here we do have the ace of um, cups as the outcome you are going to be quite happy in this environment and you're going to make good money as well okay so what I'm getting here is you know traditionally when I read for cancers I do feel that you are a bit of a homebody out of all the signs, I do feel that you are the most. I mean, Aries are starting to get into, you know, that domestication mode. And Aries are starting to stay home a little bit more. And they, they're finding comfort in their similar surroundings or, or familiar surroundings. And um, you're basically doing the opposite. I feel that innately you are homebodies. But I feel like a lot of... Um, a lot of energy is coming through for you concerning travel, concerning like acceleration of the next step in your life and job opportunities that will require a little bit of travel away from home. And it's um, it feels uncomfortable because, you know, you want to stay at home. You you know your comfort level and you like familiar things, but it's it's basically pushing you out of your comfort zone. And what's the, the um, I guess, the bait? The bait is that there's some money involved here. You might have to take a trip. You might be away from home in order to reap the financial benefits of it. But it looks very good. So external to you, we have the King of Cups. And I'm going to read this as you. The environment that you've been used to in the past is definitely changing. So the shift is good. Changes are always good. You have to embrace them, okay? So don't be afraid of this new venture. It might feel as if you... you, you, you I, I feel like a lot of you... There's some anxieties here about leaving the home front and about pursuing new territory and breaking new grounds. But you are very well protected because you know what you're doing and it's really time for you to take that next big step in your life and to commit to expanding your financial base by linking up with other people who might provide you with projects, networking, and basically expanding yourself in the outer sphere. Okay, so you're being pushed out of the home environment in order for you to grow and expand and it's going to be really good for you. In terms of what's in um, your hopes and fears here, we do have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse position. So this is a really good hopes, okay? In the upright position, this is the miser card. And it's basically somebody who, who has to like nickel and dime, who has to live within their means, who has to like budget day in and day out just to make ends meet. In the reverse position, it definitely indicates to me the end of financial worries. And this is what's coming through for you because we have Eight of Coins. You're working at something this is a, a job opportunity or this is something where you're working diligently and the advice is ten of pentacles you are going to be able to achieve the financial abundance you've always dreamed of okay so it's sort of like sacrificing at this present moment sacrifice the need to stay home the need to stay put the need for stability in order for you to seek more prosperity in other aspects of your life and then you can always come back to your home base 
I do feel you can always come back to it because um, in terms of the outcome, we have the Four of Wands, which indicates to me a separation, people possibly moving in and out of the home environment. This is possibly you moving in and out or you pursuing, you know, like moving out from, for example, from your parents' house and finding a new place for yourself that you can call your own and being very happy, taking care of yourself, feeling very, very emotionally fulfilled, being able to sustain yourself and feeling that sense of adventure and that sense of freedom that you haven't been able to achieve in the past, mainly because you were living under somebody else's roof. So I definitely see a change in residence coming through for a lot of you. It is going to herald a new change in the way you've lived your life. If you've been just, you know, kind of fearful, like on the sidelines of life, nibbling away and not really, you know, it's like one foot out the door or getting cold feet every time a new venture happens and you end up like um, not pursuing new opportunities, main, mainly because you're fearful. I definitely see a change of residence, an opportunity for you to seek, to break out of your shell in order to seek opportunities that are really good for you, okay? And um, the hangman here in the reverse position does indicate like a, a sacrifice, but it's a sacrifice that is done willingly. So you're actually embarking on a new phase in your life with a lot of more financial stability. Um, for those of you who are, you know, dating and, and things like that, I definitely feel two strong signs coming through. Uh, one is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The other one is a, an air sign, so um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, okay? I do feel, well, you know, they, they offer different things. The air sign is very adventurous, and I do feel that's what you need, whereas the water sign is very, very nurturing. So you can choose either route, whether or not you want to, you know, proceed with that. For those of you who are in stable relationship, we do have the Ace of Cups here, which indicates to me there's going to be a renewal in, in the passion, in the emotional chemistry in this relationship, okay? So it's a soothing relationship, and it might be the start of something. For a lot of you, I do feel that there is a new, brand new air sign in your love sector. So once again, um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, that is going to revolutionize the way that you've been living your life. If you've been living like a hermit, if you've been kind of like fearful or a little bit of a homebody and you don't really get out much to date, this is somebody coming through and it's going to be very, very fruitful for you um, to... There's going to be an intellectual rapport, but there's also a very good energy an expansive energy, somebody that, that breaks the mold, that breaks you out of your rut, and that brings a lot of excitement in your life, okay? So finances looks tremendously amazing for this uh, the rest of this month. 